One of the things I want to talk about today is why we don't sin. We are saved by grace, not by works. And we continue to stay saved by grace, not by works. And some people say, if we're saved by grace, then that gives people a license to sin. But they ha they'll sin anyway, no matter, you know, how they're saved, they, they will sin. But what I want to cover today is why we don't sin. I know we're saved by grace. We stay saved by grace. And I have a, some teaching on that. But one of the things that bugged me is people would say to me, well, if you're saved by grace, what keeps people from sinning? Well, it's kind of like this. When you, get, when you fall in love with somebody, your spouse, when you have children, you will do anything you can to keep from hurting them. You don't want to hurt them. You don't want to do anything that would uh, hurt them in any way. And we're the same way with Jesus. When we find out what he's done for us, we're, we fall in love with him. We don't want to hurt him. We don't want to sin. We, these are reasons we don't want to sin. First of all, we get his nature, and his nature is not to sin. <laughs> and, um, one of the other things is, when we sow to the flesh, we reap destruction. So we don't want that. An evil heart of unbelief in departing from the living God hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. And that's Hebrews 3.12. In other words, sin is deceitful. And what it does is it hardens your heart and it causes you to not believe or trust in God. Another reason we don't sin is as Jesus is, so are we in this world. And Jesus, Jesus is not a sinful person. Number Another one is we are made in God's image. Um, we're partakers of his divine nature. Second Peter 1.24 and his divine nature is not sinfulness. It's um, holiness. First Timothy 5.14 says give no opportunity to the adversary to speak reproachfully to you. Uh, in other words, you don't want to do anything that will give the devil an opportunity to start harassing you. For, um, and some other scriptures you can look up is 1 Peter 2, 11 and 12 and 1 Peter 3 and 1. And those are just some of the reasons that we don't sin. Because we're saved by grace, we don't, we don't have a license to sin. You want to choose not to sin. When you know you're saved by grace, that no matter what you do, you're not going to miss rapture. You're not going to fall, um, fall away from Jesus when you sin and miss the mark and you do wrong. You're not going to get unsaved. When you know that, there's a security that comes with knowing that God really loves you. If he died for you when you were a sinner, um, his death means even more when you're saved and you mess up. So be sure that once you're saved, you're going to stay saved because it's not by your works. It's by Jesus' blood and what he did. And um, some of the scriptures I gave you today will help you to realize um, why your new nature does not want to sin. My name is Robin Bremer. You're watching Walks with God, and I'm out for today.